well so let's start with view so first of all let's understand that why we need view uh, if you see that index.html page you can see that um, I just keep the script and it is quite um, messy and most important thing is that it is very difficult to manage if we keep everything here so that is the reasons the if we put separate thing in a separate view then it will be well managed so uh, actually that is the reason that a view concept come so let's start with a view and we will print a text in that view just a, a very simple view so first of all that we have to do that like um, all type of view we will keep in the view folder so I am creating another folder that is called view and inside that view we will create a view so just a um, new file and the view name is app and dot view dot xml so now the system automatically understand that is the view and the naming convention is always should be like the name of the view then dot view and xml you can use the another um, I mean that separate things but it's always good idea to use like this okay so on view is there like app dot dot view dot xml but the main name of the view is that app if you want to any other view um, then it would be just like app app1 dot view dot xml so the name the first name will be changed and rest of the things will be the same so i'm just deleting this so now what we have to do we have to create a view but you can see that this view is already there i mean that the syntax is already created uh, so uh, let me just understand um, make you understand that what is about so basically that is the all view is start with mbc is the different things i am not going to that part but it's always start with that mbc view and this mbc should be close so view start and view close and that is the controller name so this controller name actually um, I in the next video I will talk about the controller so controller basically uh, put the all type of logic we will put in the controller so for the basic um, view we don't need controller so I'm just removing that and another thing is that um, we are going to use the library that is your core.mbc so that is the way um, x xm lns um, mbc so basically that is the way you can put the embassy uh, mbc library and i will use that um, sap.m so display back hi i am just removing this because we are going to create a very basic view so now you can understand that actually that is um, it just a view but what we will do um, we will just print the text inside the view so what i am going to do i'm just text so text and hello world so whenever we call this view actually this view, 
this value this view will print that hello world so now actually this our view is ready but what we have to do we have to call somewhere this view so now we we know that um, actually here earlier it was printing text just a um, using the SAP control but now actually what we will do we will call this view from here because compiler will come here and after that it will call the view so first of all now I am in the index.js because from that JS we will call that view that is the app view so let's start so you can see that that is the calling library um, that time we uh, call text but this time we have to call the view so here actually that is the SAP UI core MBC that XML XML view. So actually that is the SAP. So SAP UI core MBC. So the XML view is under MVC. MVC is under the SAP UI core. So now that is the function. So in that function, earlier I call the text, but whatever we call, we need to pass through that function so that we can call, we can create an object. So here, actually now we don't need this because actually we are not going to print anything so from here actually we just um, there is a link to call this so actually now we have to create the view the xml view dot create then and that is the view name view name so here so view name actually we know that that is the view name uh, like um, app but you have to if you if you check I mean that if you go to the uh, manifest or if you go to the uh, index so from here actually you can see that actually that is the path that is the path of that project so if I come here um, actually that is very important for that project so here actually you can see that um, it should be dot 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 so here dot means that we came into that view okay so now actually we have to call this view so from here actually we should um, we should name like uh, view then app why because it is also look like that first we entering that um, locations from that locations that is after that there is a folder view so that is the view and inside the view there is a call app so we just call that app so it's uh, simple but you have to just understand that how it's calling that view 
so now actually we will use that uh, promise like then function view it should be closed and here it should be for view that place at where we will place if i if i check in the index place you can see that is the class and that is the id that's name is context so we'll call from that context here this and this it's look good so now we just um, call this we need to copy this paste index so now you can see that hello world it is uh, appearing from that uh, view so bas basically that is the way that um, you can you can create a view and you can call view and uh, in the next video i will discuss about the control thank you